Hello and welcome to Captain Bob. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own whiskey compass for use with FSX. Captain Bob, Captain Bob, he's my best friend and he should be yours too. For this build you will need an Arduino Mega, a small stepper motor, its control board, six jumper wires, and these 3D printed parts. Our first step is to 3D print these. I printed this one like this with supports here and then that came out with a weird texture on here so it's really your call how you want to print this and then this one I just printed face down you also want to print this piece right here it turns with the motor and then shows you what heading you're on for the circular insert I ended up printing this template only the link to to the website in the description below and I'm gonna basically wrap it around now I can cut these out and then glue them onto the whiskey compass Now I need to cut the center hole. Now I'm going to glue this onto there. Now it's dry so we can put these stepper motor in with hot glue. So now we can plug this into right here then these into IN 1 through 4 and then feed them through the hole do the same with these on plus and minus okay now we can just shove it through and if everything fits perfectly it should close off now you can get some screws and then screw these holes in. This works really well, but I think that I'll put the board under the Cessna like this and use the other part. So I'm going to print this now. Here's the back panel, so now you can just put this through here. And it's a lot thinner. And in my opinion, it looks better. Later I'll put a piece of plastic with a little arrow to tell you which heading you're on, but I ran out of clear plastic so I'm going to do that later. For the wiring we're going to plug this into the PCB, and then take a jumper wire from the positive and negative on the PCB, and then four from IN1 through IN4. Here the negative wire will go to ground and the positive wire will go to 5 volts. I'm going to use pins 32 through 35. Your wiring should look similar to this. So right here I'm in Movie Flight and our first step is to go to Extras, Settings, Movie Flight Modules, click your Arduino, and then you're going to add a device. This is a stepper motor, and we're going to use the pins we used before. I switched them to 2 through 5 for simplicity. 
So now we'll want to upload the device. And then we can exit. Now we're going to make our stepper motor, our compass event. And then go to edit. And we're going to go to display. Just for now. Display, movie flight, mega. Use with stepper. This is the compass stepper. And now we can test it. This shows us that the compass is in fact working properly. So now that this works, we can go over to FSU IPC. Now we can use a preset from online at Project Magenta All FSU IPC Offsets. Just look it up. And then we're going to Control F and search for Compass. So there's three results. Whiskey Compass, which is what we want. And then there's also Magnetic Compass Fail, which we don't want. And then there's, yeah, so both of those are failure modes. So if we go up to the first one and copy this number, the offset value, 0 to Charlie Charlie. And then paste that here. And then the size in bytes is 8. So we can put that here. And it says back there it's a degree in float. Okay, so that's good. We can press OK. Then we can go 360 to 2040, 2040, because this is how much the sim will go around. So that when the sim goes 360 degrees, we want the compass to go 360 degrees. And at 400, 2040 steps is 360 degrees for this step remover. I think. We'll want to turn compass mode on so that it doesn't have to turn all the way around every time it hits north. And then press OK. Now we can save this. Make sure that the active button is pressed. And then press run and open FSX. Now if you look on both of the compasses, they are to the same heading. Now we can test the theory that they'll stay on the same heading. Ready? Go! Okay. They seem to be working together. Ta-da! Insert your test pilot joke here. <laughs> now let's attempt a turn around a point. So we're at a heading of 33 now, 33, and then we'll just go over here. Heading of 24, yes, the, they match up. And now is the moment of truth. Will it? go all the way back around. Okay. And the compass seems to work. Yay! Now that you figured out how you can make a whiskey compass, you can head over to some of my other videos and figure out how you can make a trim wheel, a switch panel, and I also have a bunch of other movie flight tutorials. Have a fantabulous day, and I'll see you in the next video.